Muching looked like he was forced to eat a sock. <laughs> okay, is that an idiom? I'd be interested to know if that was like a real Chinese idiom. Xielian didn't think what he said was much anything, but hearing Muching, now it sounded like it was quite the something indeed. And he flushed a bright red color. Oh, what, what, what I said clearly w worked. Look, oh, there was no response from within the cottage and that farmer came forward, hauling the plows. Is this a Yoda situation? <laughs> Is this farmer the rain master? That Rainmaster hat can only. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love Stancia. I love that there is a Rainmaster hat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> TGCF chapter 75 Closing the Capital Gates, Survival of Young on Bard. <gasps> what? <laughs> so we're now. Unfortunately, although that green field was uninhabited, to those of the royal capital, it was a field of leisure. Ooh. With the snap rope in hand, that man fell from midair. In the midst of thousands screaming, he landed heavily on the hard ground before the city gates. <sighs> this has gotten crazy in a way that's not as much fun. That is upsetting and a little too realistic. <laughs> it's okay, we'll get back to the fun <laughs> eventually and his hands lost control. The simple flick was overly powerful and he threw that person directly over the wall. The hell? During the day, he kept charging to fight in front of you in that formation that was ahead. Oh. I've been like, is it Hua Chung? But like, not wanting to say it. And like, every paragraph gives me another reason to think it might be. <laughs> After running for a while, he heard footsteps behind catching up to him, and when he turned his head to look, it was that young soldier. Shalian shouted at him, I don't need help, go back. That boy shook his head. Shalian tried again, go back, after he sped up, leaving that boy far behind in an instant, no longer to be seen. Let him come with you! <laughs> but he had not expected that behind him would be such a strange figure. That person wore a deadly white funeral garb. His face bore a deadly white mask. <laughs> he was sitting on a vine hung low between two trees, and that scrunching sound came from him, swinging that vine back and forth like a swing. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm worried about Hua Chong. He was following him. Shalian turned to look and saw the one who swung the sword was that young soldier. I was waiting. <laughs> that boy was also vigorously cooperative, and after an hour, all the beings were exterminated. They worked together. That boy gripped his sword harder, and while he was huffing at first, he instantly stood at attention and said, Yes, sir. I'm not giving you orders, so why are you saying yes, sir? When I ordered you to go back earlier, why didn't you say yes or then? Yes, sir, that boy answered. And, but then realized his response was strange and stood even stiffer. Shady and shook his head, mulled, and suddenly his lips curled up. But you're better suited for a saber. Hua mm. Hua <laughs> is not yet 14 right now. But because of puberty, he sprouted, rap sprouted rapidly in height and no longer looks like a sad puppy, <laughs> which is why Shalia didn't recognize him. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you liked the video, and I'll see you in the next video, beautiful nerds.